Next question, question 34. Question, is P greater than Q? Statement 1, PQ is greater than 0. Statement 2, P square is greater than Q square. Which one of the following is correct in respect of the question and the statements? First option is the question can be answered by using one of the statements alone but cannot be answered using the other statement alone. Second option, the question can be answered by using either statement alone. Third option, the question can be answered by using both the statements together but cannot be answered using either statement alone. And fourth option, the question cannot be answered even by using both the statements together. So we'll see what is the answer. Uh, so first we will analyze what statement 1 and statement 2 means. Statement 1 means P into Q is greater than 0. So it that means both will have the same sign. That is P and Q will be either greater than or equal to 0. So it is greater than 0. So you can cannot be 0. So it is either greater than 0 positive numbers or P and Q are less than 0. This is the only conclusion that we can make. They have both same sign. So, uh, so with that information, we cannot answer is P greater than Q. So statement one alone cannot answer uh, whether P is greater than Q. So we will see statement two. Statement two says P square is greater than Q square. So what does this mean? Absolute value of P is greater than absolute value of Q. That is if you forget the sign, whatever sign P has, uh, and Q has, uh, then the absolute value uh, will be uh, of P will be greater than Q. So this can mean this could mean um, uh, this does not uh, answer the question is P greater than Q. I will show you one example. Say P is uh, P's value is four and Q's value is three. So P square is greater than Q square. Absolute value of four is greater than absolute value of three. So in this case, what P is greater than Q. So P square is greater than Q square. But let's take another example, minus 4 and minus 3. So in this case also, P square is greater than Q square. Uh, uh, P square is greater than Q square means minus 4 square is 16 and Q minus 3 square is 9. So P square is greater than Q square is satisfied here. But as you can see, P is less than Q. So when P square is greater than Q square, both the conditions p greater than q p can be greater than q or p can be less than q so we cannot answer this whether p is greater than q or p is less than q from statement 2 alone so now the question is whether uh, when both the statements are true statement 1 and statement 2 are true we can answer whether is p greater than q or not so we we will think of one example so as you can see um, in the statement 2 absolute value of p is greater than absolute value of q so uh, from statement one uh, it means either p is positive or q is negative nothing more so if you combine the both the statements there is no uh, there is no uh, nothing uh, uh, so um, let's say uh, in the first scenario uh, that is p and q have a greater than or equal to uh, p and q are positive in the, the let this be the first scenario and second scenario from statement one we don't know whether it is first scenario or second scenario but in the first scenario p and q are when p and q are positive and statement two uh, we can say that p is greater than q but we don't know whether it is first scenario it could be second scenario in second scenario both p and q are less p, p and q are less than zero or p and q are negative numbers in that negative number case uh, combining statement two we can say for sure that p is less than q so in both scenarios that gives uh, that is given by one we will we will arrive at a different uh, different answer for is p, p greater than q so combining these two whether uh, if, if someone asks is p greater than q has a solid answer we don't uh, the statement one does not give enough information uh, to give uh, to uh, know uh, for us to know whether it is state situation one or situation two so for that reason we will not uh, combining the two statements we will not be able to say is p greater than q or p less than q both is possible i'll show you one example uh, that is uh, making statement 1 and 2 true and we will getting two answers. So statement 1 
and 2 true uh, as i mentioned earlier let's consider 4 and 3 p's value 4 and 3 so statement 1 is what pq is greater than 0 so 4 into 3 is greater than 0 that is satisfied and uh, p square is greater than q square that is also satisfied so from this two uh, we can see we took a case p greater than q and both the statements got satisfied and in another case uh, minus we will take minus 4 and minus 3 as you can see pq is greater than 0 there also so uh, minus 4 into minus 3 is 12 positive 12 that is greater than 0 that is satisfied and p square is greater than q square so p square is greater than q square is also satisfied so but we can see p is less than q so though both the statements are two true we are getting two different answers so we cannot say for sure uh, the question is p greater than q we cannot answer for sure whether is p greater than q or not even using after using both the statements uh, we we may have two um, different results so the solution to question 34 is the question cannot be answered even by using both the statements together so solution is d solution to question 34 is d